Today we're going to be covering the basics of the Scratch programming environment. Scratch is an open source piece of software developed by MIT and it's a drag and drop uh, programming language that allows you to create uh, applications. You can create stuff like games or you can have characters talk to each other. There's a lot of different things that can be achieved with Scratch and it, it really is a lot of it is limited by your imagination. Now we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so the first thing you'll notice in the Scratch programming environment is that you have this panel here that I just outlined with my mouse. This is called the stage area. This is where your sprites will interact with each other. This is where your actual action happens that you create via the scripts and the other methods of creating action within Scratch. Um, you have a basic coordinate system where the middle of the stage is zero zero. Um, I believe Y goes up to 180 and down to negative 180, as well as X goes to 240 and negative 240. If you've taken basic algebra, it's just like the coordinate plane, which is very good for beginners because it makes it easily to easier to relate to, being that based on your other math courses. Um, now if you look down here you have a sprite panel. This displays all the sprites you currently have in your scene. You will notice that mine is currently empty. You may have a cat within there, the scratch cat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new sprite. In order to do this I'm going to import one of the sprites that is pre-made for scratch. To do that you have to click the little character guy here beside new sprite. I'm going to go to animals and I'm going to get the crab. Now this is only one of the four methods that you can add a new sprite in Scratch. You could have also painted a new sprite using the paintbrush here. You could have uploaded a sprite from your your uh, computer using the upload button and it's important to note that those sprites could come from your projects, somebody else's projects, so you wanted your friend to create a sprite for your project your friend could create the sprite, send you the sprite, and then you could take that sprite and put it within your project. But we'll cover exportation of sprites from scratch later. And there's also a fourth option that was not available in the previous versions of scratch, and this is the webcam option. It's a pretty cool option that allows you to take a picture uh, with your webcam and put it in the scratch. You click the button, you click allow for flash access your hardware, and then once that's clicked, you're free to go and it'll basically just take a picture and it'll be right there. Um, there's also, if you look over here to the left, there's the stage uh, thing. It's, it's The stage is kind of like a sprite. It has a little bit different scripting involved within it and it just encompasses the entire background that exists here within your Scratch environment. As you see here, you can create new backdrops similar to the... the uh, the sprite system that exists within Scratch. Um, so anyway, we have this have this crab sitting here in our environment, and I happen to notice that maybe I want this crab to be a little bit bigger than he is. In order to do that, you go up here to the top, and there's arrows pointing out. You're going to select that tool, and you're going to come down here and click on the crab. When you do that, the crab will enlarge, and you just keep clicking until you get it to the uh, size that you want the crab to be and I keep clicking and all of a sudden I realize hey maybe I don't want the crab to be quite this big and that's when I get on the shrink tool that is located right beside the grow tool and I come back and just click on the crab and you can also just shrink it down just as easily as he was grown um, there's also copy, I'm going to say this is copy here yes, yes, you copy the copy your sprites with this tool that exists right here. So you just come down here, click on it, and it will make a duplicate of it. Now, I don't want these duplicates here, so I come up here and I, the pair of scissors here is the delete tool. So I just come in here and I click on it with the delete tool. Bam, it's gone. I click on it one more time and I get the other crab out of the way. Um, this little bar up here in the top is the name of your project. I'm going to go ahead and rename mine Hello World. 
as it is the first program that's generally in any programming language which your first project is named um, now you will notice that there's two little green things two little icons here one's green one's red uh, you can probably guess that green means go and red means stop green executes your scratch program and red will stop your scratch program now you're probably saying well great we don't have a scratch program yet well guess what we're gonna go ahead and make our first scratch program today right now um, if you look over here in the script panel this is the, where your uh, this is where all the controls that affect your little sprite here are gonna go for each sprite you're gonna have a different panel so if, if you had a crab here or let's say you have it had a duck your duck would probably have different actions in your crab so you'd have a different script than what the crab would have so now we're gonna come over here we're gonna go to the event uh, pan, event tab of the uh, script section and as you see here we have these little blocks and as you notice their tops are rounded off and they look it's what we what I usually call a hat block it's where the execution begins um, basically the events trigger these events trigger the start of a script that's attached to this block now if you look at the little green flag here what does it look similar to it looks exactly like the little green flag that exists with the, on the scratch window so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually attach a script to this little hat block here and we're going to we're going to go to looks and what this will enable us to do is we'll we can put a make the little crowd talk so we're going to say hello world so you can either click on this block within the scratch environment and it will run your separate script or the preferred method that I usually do is come over here to the scratch uh, stage environment you click the green hat and the crab says hello world for two seconds um, that was your first tutorial within scratch I will follow this up with another tutorial very very soon thank you for watching and have a great day